Hey guys, thanks for uh, checking out the um, video. I wanted to do a quick video to kind of show you a couple things, kind of show you my 2002 Chevrolet Silverado 5.3 uh, two-wheel drive with a 342 rear end truck. Kind of just wanted to do a quick uh, um, walk around, kind of show you specifically, uh, if you noticed, I have that uh, trailer. It's a 25 foot, 26 foot trailer. Uh, uh, roughly 5,500 pounds, 5,000, 5,500 pounds. I always say, uh, you know, obviously a little heavier once it's loaded, but I wanted to show you because I actually just bought a new truck um, that I'll do another video on. It's a Tundra, but I want to show you this one and what I did to kind of get the most out of the truck to be able to tow with it. So um, first and foremost, let me just show you and do a quick walk around. Um, biggest thing right now is the paint. Really upset about that, but it is what it is. Got some nice Michelins there. Uh, toolbox. It's got the tow package. Those are the Michelin Defender LTX MS2s. Real nice, low profile toolbox. Show you the mirrors in just a second. Uh, grill guard that's been on there got the uh, the light bar and so on so let me start first and foremost uh, the ranch hand bumper guard it came with it has nothing to do with towing it looks good I really like it um, I'll tell you one thing that I did add was this light bar I bought it on Amazon it was like 35 bucks it is super bright um, usually when you're going camping somewhere and you're towing um, you're probably in the middle of nowhere so uh, I did this light bar because I wanted to have some more light, especially in some of these areas, remote areas. I recommend it. I'll see if I can find the link and put it on this video to show you. Uh, phenomenal. Phenomenal. 35. And if you notice, a lot of times you see these uh, that are filled with water and got condensation. None of that. Really phenomenal. I can't say enough good things about it. One of the first things that you'll notice are the tow mirrors. And what I really like about these, I think these were like... Um, these are not the standard ones. These are aftermarket. Um, but as you can see, this is really big. And then this is really nice. And then, of course, uh, they're manual. They don't have any light or anything. You know, they extend. Best mirrors by far. Um, my new Tundra doesn't have the tow mirrors. I had to get these extenders. I'll do a video on those. I'm not crazy about it. But uh, when you do get the tow mirrors on the Tundra, you don't get some of the features and so on but I'll do another video about that so those tow mirrors are a must I have the I had the regular mirrors that went like this uh, and then you could do extenders I don't recommend them uh, because these are just light years ahead and the phenomenal thing about these is you just pop this off you've got like two or three screws they come out you put the other ones in I mean it takes a couple minutes for each side so um, it's a no-brainer the other thing I want to show you is we'll get under the hood in just a second. I think that's it for the outside. Let me show you the toolbox. Uh, my wife got me this toolbox and I like that it's low profile. It's got enough to be able to put um, a toolbox in there with you know all my gear. Uh, just everything. I, I, I really like it because another thing about going camping is you're usually going in some remote areas and if you go, like for example this weekend we were in the hill country. We decided to go hiking and swimming and these other different places and you're in the middle of nowhere so if you've got things in the back of your truck having a toolbox is just essential um you know i don't know maybe i would have tried one of them where you have access from here this thing from the get-go wasn't installed properly and these hinges need adjusting uh, because theoretically you're supposed to be able to grab one and then open it but I have to get on there and grab it with two and, and open it. But that's a whole nother thing. But the reason I really like it is it doesn't obstruct your view up here. I still put everything that I need in there, which is my, um, all, my, all my tools, my ratchet set, everything that you need, straps, whatever. It's phenomenal. And you still have plenty of space under here. I can slide in ladders. I can slide in. Uh, I know my daughter is at the lake. I had to take her over there. I took her canoe. Phenomenal. So you still have that space can't say enough about that by the way this is before I had the RV uh, I've got this little mat on here it came with the truck if I could do it all over again I would do the spray in 
uh, which the Tundra I just bought and I'll show you uh, has the spray in. Um, I think that's all on the outside for now. Let me take you inside. So let me show you a couple things that I did. Uh, first and foremost, I had to get you know, um, a brake controller. And this one is the, is it Deconcha? Deconcha P3. Uh, I don't have a lot of experience with brake controllers. This thing was so easy to install. I just put it right here, put it here, and then the harness. I think you have to buy a harness for your particular vehicle. Um, and it's, it's literally a plug and play. So you just plug it in and you're set to go. It's phenomenal. This particular one is for a auxiliary fan and I'll show that to you in just a second. Let me pop the hood. Um, I'll show that to you in just a second. Here's the thing that I've been having. If you watch my other video, I showed you how I got the Flexalite 292s, I believe it was. And those are, I took off the, um, the belt driven fan and I put electric fans on there. Uh, spoiler alert, you can go watch the video. It worked phenomenal for the AC driving around town. But as soon as I hooked up the RV and I was going on hills, as you guys know, on these 5.3s, with the 342 rear ends, they really have to work to go up some serious hills. And towing that thing in 100 degree weather um, just wasn't possible. And so it generated a lot of heat and the fans weren't able to come up with, um, to be able to cool them off. So I ended up having to remove them. I'm back to the clutch fan and I did an accessory. Um, it's also a Flexalite Low Boys. It's a 16 inch fan. So now I've got two fans. I've got the belt driven one. That's the main one, and then I've got uh, this 16 inch uh, low boy. Well, I thought I'd be able to show it to you, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get in there. So you've got the belt driven fan, which is in there already. You're just gonna have to trust me that there is a 16 inch um, fan in there. And I'm gonna actually get a picture of it from the internet and I'm gonna pull it up. But essentially it's, it's on, it's, it's a low boy. It's got a low profile and it goes up against the radiator. So, I'll be honest with you, I think it creates a little bit of, uh, is it disturbance? Turbulence. So, you know, I kind of question that, but I'll tell you, on the high end, I'm doing great, meaning high RPMs, phenomenal. On the low end, it helps out with the AC. So I'm getting the, bo the best of both worlds. I just kind of wanted to show you what I've done to this truck to be able to tow and make it a better towing uh, vehicle. So again, brake controller, you got the tow mirrors. Um, by the way, some people commented that these vibrate a little too much. I will agree, they vibrate a little bit more than your stock, uh, but it's totally usable. Brake controller, the low boy fan. And by the way, this is actually an override switch. If you were to do those low boys or the fan, you don't have to have the switch. It, it turns on and off by the, the temperature or when you turn the AC on, it automatically turns on. I have this set to be on 24-7. I'm in Texas. It's in the hundreds right now, and we're barely starting August. It's going to be hot. So there's, I always have it on to keep, that, um, to keep that AC condenser cold. It'll always be on um, and at 100%. But if you decide to do the fans, you've got to do this. This part is cheap, uh, and it's easy to do, and it's nice to have to be able to override it. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about that the my Chevrolet doesn't come with, if you look at the dash layout, you've got your engine temperature, oil pressure, fuel, there's your battery, RPM, and your um, sp speedometer. Uh, one thing that it didn't come with was a transmission temperature gauge. And again, I really like to see my temperature because again I was running into some overheating issues with the engine and so I thought well what the heck's going on with the transmission and it just had the stock uh, transmission cooler which wasn't very big so when I did the um, temperature gauge here I wanted to see how that looked I also went ahead and added a heavy-duty cooler and I'll put a link for that below so I did the cooler and I did this at the same time I had it installed by uh, by my mechanic this is phenomenal. I don't know what my temperatures were before, but I know, I mean, I've got to say, it's got to be cooler now than it was before. And let me tell you why. When I put the new transmission cooler in, 
that was by far the best choice I could have done next to these mirrors. It, when I put that transmission cooler in, I had the mechanic put it in line. Um, and if I'm saying that wrong, I'm sorry. But here's what happened. I have the regular transmission cooler that comes with the truck. And instead of disconnecting that and removing it and putting the new one, heavy duty one, I just ran the line. I, I let the transmission fluid go in there, get cooled by the regular one, then go into the big one so it's in line. So it's getting cooled once, it's getting cooled twice, and then it goes back. So you're getting a lot of, um, a lot of use out of that. So this, I'll have to do a whole nother video on some of the, t the temperatures, but they are ridiculously low. Um, I hear people say, oh, I'm running, you know, 200, 220, towing, all that stuff. Guys, towing in Texas, in this heat, I, I may reach 180, maybe 190, but it's staying really low. By far the best investment I did. Um, and that about does it. If I... Again, I wanted to do this video because I think everybody is quick to um, say, oh man, you need a three quarter ton, you need a diesel, you need all this. And the reality is, is that these RVs are getting uh, lighter uh, because they're, they're, they're catering to that uh, set of folks. And I don't really believe that you need a three quarter ton to pull everything. Oh, that reminds me. One more upgrade that I did. Uh, I'm not sure how well you can see them here. I did the um, Helper Springs. I'm going to try and remember what the brand is. I think the sticker's on this side. Helwig. There it is. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, Helwig is the brand. These were like cheap. Uh, under 200 bucks for sure. Now let me tell you why I got these. Because before I had these, whenever I hooked up the RV, even with the uh, weight distribution bar, it would really sink it down and uh i'm gonna get back inside the truck because it's it's hot um but what would happen is it would really weigh down the truck and the back end would sag not not too bad but you know it's still you could see it and you're like okay it's fine but the thing that i noticed is that the front end would lift and i didn't have as much control on the highway i would go over bumps and stuff and that front end just just floated and so I went ahead and added this, um, those uh, helper springs, and it, it took, took that out of the equation. It rides uh, better when it's towing. Um, it's got, it handles the weight a little bit better. Now, I don't know if my leaf springs are old, if they're worn out or any of that, so I don't want to say anything. So that's kind of that was a phenomenal upgrade, and it was cheap, and I did it myself. It doesn't take long to install them. So... In conclusion, you don't need a three-quarter ton. Yeah, it'd be nice to have one and all that stuff. But in reality, this was my daily driver driver for a long time. I really don't care to drive a three-quarter ton or spend that much money on one. I'd rather have a half ton. It's more than capable. Um, brake controller, really easy. The electric fan, that was just on me. Uh, but I am getting that cold AC. I can't say enough about those tow mirrors. Super easy to remove. Even if you decide, well, Lewis, I don't want to drive with these things all the time. It takes five minutes to take both of them off, combine, put your old ones back on. Uh, you don't have to have it. Transmission cooler, lifesaver. I can't say enough good things about that transmission cooler. And by the way, don't get rid of the old one. Just put it in line with the new one and you'll get some phenomenal cooling. Um, the helper springs were phenomenal. Um, so I did all, I, I say this because these are all things that I did. Uh, to avoid having to buy a new truck. Now, I eventually did, but it was for other reasons. I, as you can see, I have an extended cab. I've got a kiddo that's five and a kiddo that's nine. And to be honest with you, they're not getting any shorter. Um, they just, they needed more space. So I bought um, a crew cab, a true crew cab. Um, but if, you're, if you've got a 5.3, whether it be a Tahoe, a Suburban, or a Silverado, or GMC, whatever it is, or, or even if you've got a Ford or whatever it may be and it's just a little older, these are some of the things that I did to get the most out of my truck and to make it last, you know, take it easier on the on the transmission, keep that engine cool, um, all these things. I really hope you take something away from this. I would love to hear your comments if you have any questions on any of the things I did or if you're thinking about it because I know 
I went to YouTube for a lot of things. Some I found, some I didn't. But this is my way of uh, helping someone out. I hope it helps you. Uh, again, please feel free to like the video. Please feel free to subscribe. If you have any questions or anything, please don't hesitate to uh, leave a comment below and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Uh, I really hope this helps you out and, and you learned a thing or two. Thank you so much for watching.